welcome all to the e presentation of uh, the journal paper in ijsr i am dr niju p joseph uh, from computer science department of christ university bangalore so uh, the paper which is for presentation is shown here and uh, it is managing uncertainty in supply chain and uh, operating cost using genetic algorithm so uh, myself dr niju uh, is uh, the presenter and uh, we are going to see different uh, aspects of this paper so please uh, 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 make sure that uh, this paper helps you when you factor in the uncertainty problems in managing the supply chain cost supply chain operations so let me start with the introduction supply chain uncertainty is different forms of uncertainties are there like supply uncertainty production uncertainty demand uncertainty what is the meaning of uncertainty it refers to measuring the degree of differences between the models and uh, the respective real system values uncertainties can be caused by errors exception incompleteness there are different possible values uh, and uh, when we come to the supply chain operating cost it uh, is determined by different types of uh, uh, uncertainties so we will see uh, one by one what are the different uh, uncertainties that are affecting the supply chain and uh, the operating cost uncertainty can be measured by the frequency of its um, occurrence and analyzing the relative contribution and resulting effective on the delivery performance to ensure that supply chain is operating as as efficient as possible and generating the highest level of customer satisfaction at the lowest cost we are introducing the concept called as supply chain management process so supply chain uh, tends to increase the complexity and involvement of numerous suppliers service providers and end consumers now coming to the uncertainty uh, where it is affecting is that irrespective of whether the outcome is positive or negative there is a total absence of information that is leading to this uncertainty uncertainty effects of uncertainty and measures for uncertainty when we talk about it can be measured by the frequency of its occurrence and uh, further dealing with that there are different types of uh, methods that can be uh, used for solving this uncertainty problem so one of the uh, standard methods is using genetic algorithm in building a genetic algorithm methodology and to solve the supply chain sourcing problem six fundamental issues are represented that is first one is a chromosome representation second one is the initialization of population third one is the selection strategy fourth one is genetic operators fifth one termination criteria and then uh, the evaluation measures in the following subsections we will be uh, dealing with that so chromosome representation in the chromosome representation the chromosome is uh, determined by the problem as well as how many genetic operators we are going to use so what we are going to do is we have to create a chromosome of uncertainty factors and then we form a chromosome so how to initialize the population the initial uh, population is based on the upper and lower bound of each of the decision variables that we have identified these decision variables are uncertain uh, variables and so coming to the selection strategy uh, the selection strategy is based upon you know, the selection of parents to produce successive generation the goal is to give more chance to the fittest individuals and for each selection the impossibilities are assigned to the individuals normalized individuals are first ranked from best to worst according to their fitness value then each individual is assigned a probability based on the rank from a truncated geometric distribution so we are going to employ genetic operators what are the genetic operators that can be done reproduction carried out by application of genetic operators four mutation operators are 
under study boundary uniform no uniform and multi no uniform and three crossover operators simple arithmetic and heuristics are used based on the representation continuous variables are using uh, this and it is referred in the uh, study of literature termination criteria ga is determined after a specific number of generations so how we are going to do the evaluation method measures the objective function is the driving force of the ga search in the research instead of performing an analytical function evaluation each solution is simulated to determine its performance because the simulation is based on a particular forecasted demand level coming to the fitness function very very important fitness function ensure the evolution is towards the optimization by calculating the fitness value of each individual in the population so what are the fitness values and what is the formula of fitness function is that f of x is equal to minus of x of 1 plus x of 2 plus x of 3 where x of 1 is the material cost, x of 2 is the manufacturing cost and plant cost and x of 3 is the labor cost. So what are the valuable variables that are there? Uh, MC manufacturing cost, PC production cost, LW labor wages, CM cost of raw materials, CP cost of running plant, OC operating cost, manufacturing cost is calculated mc equal to pc plus cp so what happens is that we are calculating the operating cost oc is equal to mc plus lw plus cm where mc stands for manufacturing cost which is taken from the production cost and the uh, cost of running the plant and uh, LW is the labor wages and plus CM is the cost of raw materials. So this is the fitness function we are doing. And what is the proposed work doing? It is uh, proposing an algorithm which will determine the uncertainty factors and how to mini minimize uh, the cost by crossover and mutation operators. So, what is the algorithm? Uncertain Data Managing Algorithm, UDMGA. And uh, what are the steps? First step is initialization. So, the population is uh, initialized. Second step is crossover. We are going to use the crossover techniques. And uh, we are using uh, different crossover operators like C1. We are having parent P of T and then we are getting the offspring O. Then we are using the step 3 is local search for each offspring generated. Proposed local search scheme is used to generate an improved offspring. Step 4 is mutation. The, two, uh, the parents are selected for mutation and with probability M and P. And what are the mutation uh, properties allowed? Uh, boundary uniform, no uniform, multi no uniform etc fifth step is select the best individual and sixth step is termination so let us discuss the results udm algorithm is applied to an inventory control system the uncertainty regarding production cost operating cost will affect the margins of any business so in a production system there are various factors so what we do is we provide the data of the uk based astral computers and then we generate the uh, initial chromosomes and after that it is subjected to uh, genetic operators like crossover and mutation the resultant chromosome thus obtained is repeated with repeat crossover and mutation and it moves towards the best chromosome after each iteration so hence at the end of the execution of 100 iterations the best chromosome 382.4 31.0 48 is obtained as shown in the figure so here what we do is that we apply the genetic algorithm with past records it can be decided that controlling this chromosome is sufficient to reduce the total operating cost due to the fluctuation or reduction or of labor or uh, 
machine cost. So what is the basic idea is that when we reduce the manufacturing cost, when we reduce the labor cost, when we reduce the cost of materials or naturally the cost of operating cost will uh, supply chain operating cost will be reduced. So this is the diagram generated from the MATLAB and uh, we are able to achieve higher performance level with this algorithm and therefore uh, MATLAB is used to obtain the best solution. These are the reference papers and uh, that's the end of the presentation. Thank you.